تن من تم خویال فی لا اترایا ام چولا خون واتن قد اینا ام من قد هم شهویران اینا ریشایت اخونن دیوید دیوید قد بت خدن یک ماشین نه چولا ایوک رو لشقیلو بغدالو او هل دیوما قد اها یوما اعتقدین اخ خایو مدیا تشی دنایا مریزا بی داس قد قد بغزایتون بطانا من تم چولو خن تیلو خن لخا و بطانا من تا من علها قد یوخ لها حاصل تا قد خایه خیتا امسخ زویاخن و دخره بی پسخوتا عویتون راو بسند هاوت بسیما ام یقرا سیمانی سفیان اون دیلم دبرانا ادبار اویوتا امتنیتا تا ترایت استرالیا Thank you, Mr. Savian. Our next guest is the Deputy Mayor representing the Mayor of Fairfield City. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Councillor Anwar Khoshaba, OAM. Hamzaman Atre, Ilam Yaqrutat Anwar Khoshaba, Hau Ile, Takhlupat Mayor, Yandurat Mditat Fairfield, Itpaqat Lakha, Umakru Mamlu, Dahayu. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Fairfield City Council, especially the mayor of the city, I would like to welcome everyone to join us to celebrate the Assyrian New Year. Thank you, Mr. Khoshaba. Our next speaker is the Deputy Secretary General of the Assyrian Universal Alliance and Regional Secretary in Australia and New Zealand. Please welcome Mr. Hermes Shaheen to the stage. Hamzaman Atreye, ila khlapna tarraza gawanayat khuyada tiwilaya aturaya pa'wat Australia and New Zealand al maqruwa mamlu bidda hayuma. بنا هم تیم او به رمش و خنده و منجب گانی منجب ناتر رازه کل نهایت خویاده تی ولای آتورایا میقراوناتم بد کلیا باروخ وخ الده یوما قدیش یومت ریش شیت آتوریتا آل کل بنونه و بناتت امتن آتورای كل يكتب أمارنا بريشايت أوهاتن أخنواتن إدبخاينا جو أطروات مدنخا جو أطرا خبيوة بيت نهرن بطلبة قاتي من تيتا وتليهي مريا عليها قد أها شيتا بت أويا شيتا برختا قد كل وأها أمتا بت مصيا خيخيتا قنيا الزدقو خيروتو مدري قابول خشينا أرخن إدينتي لخا من اهدانم خیدت آمریکا میقرای شایشو هادز ارخن من من اطرت ایران آنی آخون واتن تینتی لخا دختری بطنان من تو خم نه ال تی تی و مت تی تی قارا قدیم. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of my colleagues, the executive board members of the Assyrian Universal Alliance Australian Chapter. It gives me great pleasure and pride to welcome you all to this historical gathering. I would like to compliment the organizing committee of this festival for their great effort in making all the preparations for this memorable day. I wish to extend our deepest appreciation to the honorable members of Australian Parliament for making time to be with us today despite their many engagements. We are very thankful to you for raising the Assyrian issue on several occasions in the Senate, federal and state parliament, calling on our government to support the rights of the Assyrian people in Iraq. We hope that through your good efforts, we can get even more attention from the Australian government towards supporting the Assyrian nation's call for an Assyrian autonomous region 
in the Assyrian heartland in northern Iraq. I would also like to extend our warmest congratulations to the new Premier of New South Wales, Mr. Barry O'Farrell MP, on his win in yesterday's election. And congratulations to Mr. Andy Rohan, our second Assyrian MP in State Parliament of New South Wales. And Mr. Guy Zengari MP for their superb win in yesterday's election, wishing them all the best in serving their electorate. I also would like to acknowledge our overseas participants, the delegation from Iran. I would like formally to apologize to the Iraqi delegation who were unable to obtain visas on time to be here with us today particularly to the Honorable Nimrud Beitu, the formal KRG Minister for Tourism in Northern Iraq. Last but not least, I would like to personally thank all those who are supporting the Assyrian Universal Alliance, particularly the Young AUA and Mr. Paul Azu for their exceptional contributions to this organization. Today, Assyrians, as an integral part of the Australian society, are celebrating the wonderful occasion of the arrival of the Assyrian New Year. This day brings hope in the hearts of Assyrians and reflects our determination of survival through generations. Despite many tragedies of war, genocide and aggression that have been inflicted on us throughout our past long history. The Assyrian New Year is a momentous occasion in the life of each and every Assyrian. It's a symbol of love, brotherhood, and friendship, which is reflected in the spirit of more than 10,000 Assyrians who gather here every year to participate in this celebration. A lot of painful tragedies have happened during the past year that has inflamed our nation's wounds and made us feel day after day that we Assyrians have been left alone without friends and have been sacrificed for the sake of some political gains in the Middle East. For many years we have pleaded to the Australian government to help our displaced people in Jordan, Syria, Lebanon and Turkey who are living in a very harsh environment after being forced out of their country by Islamic terrorist group operating under the watchful eyes of the Iraqi government and the foreign occupying force in Iraq. We have asked Western governments to support the Assyrian demands in Iraq. Unfortunately, all we get is words of sympathy but no action. The building of the Assyrian Genocide Monument in the Sydney suburb of Bonnerick Park last year to remember the victims of the Assyrian Genocide by the Ottoman Turkey during World War I turned out to become controversial and international issue. Although it was approved by the Fairfield City Council according to the strict process of guidelines and procedures, the Turkish government through their ambassador tried to shut the Assyrian voice in Australia and stop this project. The Turkish embassy in Australia has threatened not to proceed visas for scholars from Australia 